Okay, so we're taking a look at the uh, SSL 360 again software um, that comes with the uh, SSL UF8 and the UF1. Now, I don't have a UF1 um, and I'm wondering what I can do with the new update to the 360 software, which includes additional functionality around the channel strip, um, channel strip 2, version 2 control. So I'm just merely adding the strips to um, channels in Eckhart Studio. Um, got that wrong, didn't I? Let's, let's cancel. I just can't, you know, I can't talk and um, do things at the same time. Let's delete that. Try again. I'll do it from here because it's normally easy. As I say, native channel strip two. Don't talk to me while I'm doing this, and then. I might be okay. Now I'll take it up to, let's say I'll take it up to 11, but I'll, I'll take it up to 12 um, because that's how much you can see on the screen, I think, in this particular demo. Okay, and I'll just minimize that to that side of the screen. Um, if I go into Plugin Mixer, which is now a new add on for um, the new version of. SSL 360, you can see that I've now got those 12 instances um, up on my machine. And um, if I say perhaps bring up the one on, for the sake of argument, um, strip 3, track 3, um, then what you can see is I can start making changes here. And they're reflected over there on any of these settings. And vice versa as well. If I make changes here, then they're reflected here. Now, um, the UF8 does have this focus technology, which you hover over, and you can use the twister or the big knob on the UF8 to make changes. Which, in this instance, you know, that's that's quite useful. Um, but I've noticed it, it doesn't work if you try and do the same thing over here. You're actually into your ordinary functionality, so I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but having said that, actually, let's stay on uh, so we can see what we're doing. Let's stay on strip three. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just go on to the next track, track and bring that one up just to show you that there's no trickery of any sort. You can see that happily working. So um, it's a reasonable way to work. Um, i just make this a little bit bigger actually, so it's taking up a bit more of the screen, but not the whole screen. Oh, there we are. Um, no, I don't want that. You might be forgiven for thinking that these are um, mixer tracks, but they're not. They're actually um, output gains on the effects, and you can switch those to input gain or output gain. And I think there's a few other things you can do as well. Um, now, similar to control zoom, all that does is it brings it in a bit. So, if you're working on a particular track, you can zoom in on that track. Um, Sure, when I'll be using that or not. Makes it always show selected signal channel. Um, now, if I change channel in uh, on the UF8 to track 5, I would then expect that to, to show me um, that selected channel. Uh, but maybe I'm not interpreting that correctly. Um, Yes, that'll be in set five. Obviously, all these are working all the time. So, if you're looking at the whole mix, um, you could, in theory, have um, all these strips, strips right way across the screen. And you'll see that these ones I haven't loaded into FL Studio. And you'll get a lot more functionality um, doing that. And that's about as far as I've got so far. I haven't looked at these settings over here. Not quite sure how to access those. 
Um, but the good news is, um, as I suspect, because they're, they're standard plugins, um, they do work in FL Studio and the functionality here um, works as well. I don't know uh, myself whether I want to work this way, but I'll certainly give it a go and see how I get on. Um, I think I would want to see the channel names in this view, the track names in this view, um, which I don't know if that's an option. I've got inserts here. Oh, presumably it is because um, this is what I'm actually working in uh, FL Studio. Let's just check that out while I'm talking to you. So if I just close that down for a second, and I'll rename that to, uh, well, what might we have? Brass. Oh, straight away it's updated um, in the 360 view. So yeah, what I've got is rather a nice big SSL mixer, um, albeit virtual. The next thing I'll look at perhaps is whether I can change these um, on a touchscreen. Um, I'm not sure if I've got this touchscreen set up over here. I'll have to report back to you on that one. It's possibly something for another day. Um, okay, thanks for your time. I hope that was useful.